Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. <laughs> and, you know, I'm <laughs> doing the weirdest thing right now. Um, I was doing the pre-shuffle, and I'm just burning some Palo Santos, and... <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm just sitting here acting like a weirdo, and I don't know why I don't normally do that. I'm just, like, going... <laughs> like, what, what is this? Like... Ooh, like I'm mesmerized by something. Like, ooh. Being silly. Just having fun. But it feels like messing around. Like, because, I don't know, either someone is highly entertained by an object, by something they got, they have, whatever that's in front of them, or they're just doing what they can to entertain themselves. Like... I don't know what that would be because I felt like I was, you know, doing the little airplane thing, like, <laughs> like dealing with a child. Um, so it could be children involved in the situation or someone's childish acting like a child or it's your own damn child. I don't know, but <laughs> uh, that was just funny. I don't know. It was weird. And I can't see out of this eye right now. Like I can, but it's blurry and I don't normally have vision issues. And that started happening when I was like acting all like, like whatever so whatever that means it might come back out who knows so like 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 comment share and subscribe stick around i hope you do stay with love if you would um we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck this came out of the deck when i was shuffling i just i feel like it's not just someone's intuition there's strong intuition here but this feels kind of secretive because we also have deception here and regret is under that. Um, really listen to your intuition with the situation. Maybe if it has something to do with children or someone being childish, just messing around, just having a good time, just playing. You know, I'm just playing. Because that's kind of what it feels like. Oh, we're just playing, we're just messing around, something like that. I don't know, whatever it is, no matter how old you are. But I feel like. Because I was looking at this one way before I hit record when I just saw it. And then now I'm looking at it in a different way. So there could be a change of perspective here, but the way I was originally looking at this is someone is regretful of the past, of their actions, of something, whatever they said or did or whatever happened, but they're actually not, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> and saying that, you know, I regret doing this, saying this, whatever, playing around, messing around, but they actually don't really give a shit. That's the way I was looking at it the first time. And now, I don't know, it's just it, something changed around. And now I'm seeing it as though someone's hiding someone's hiding the fact that they that they do feel regret in a situation they feel remorse because they do appreciate you it's kind of what that feels like but why the hell would you hide that like maybe someone's pride and ego is getting in the way because this feels like i don't know it feels like two different things an illusion of regret so maybe it's for two different people because i don't know be careful with trickery. Be careful with um, what people say necessarily. History has a tendency of repeating itself. So if there's patterns within a situation or you notice things about a specific person over time, you know, like really trust their actions, not necessarily what they say. And listen to what someone says too. Like pay attention because how... How we handle situations, how we talk about other people, how, you know, whatever it is, it says a lot about whoever's speaking, you know what I mean? So, if you've got someone who is, like, praising a per another person, um, maybe not praising, but they're being kind, you know, they're not being a jackhole, basically, and even if said person isn't the nicest to them. You know what I mean? You're not like, you're being the bigger person, not taking it out on them or whatever. If you're 
like pay attention to like things like that or like when someone is just talking shit you know like so and so did this that the, the, whatever you know what i mean and i'm not talking about event session i'm like between friends and stuff i'm saying like when people just run their mouth um you know what i mean because if they're willing to say things certain things like that about someone someone else they're willing to say it about you do you know what i mean like just take that into consideration. I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about all of a sudden. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like there's kind of like an illusion. There's a Decepticon here. Because aren't those the bad Transformers? Transformation. Change and transformation. Because if you think about it, all the Transformers, you didn't know what they were until they transformed into a Transformer. Like, you know, until they turned into the person-looking thing or the robot dudes or whatever. But the Decepticons were the bad ones, the mean ones. There's a Decepticon here who doesn't regret deceiving you. There's a person here who does not regret deceiving you. Like, hmm. Um, they definitely had a purpose. Whatever they did or said to you, about you, whatever... It was all to serve a purpose, like to pull the wool over your eyes, um, to lead you in a different direction, to confuse you, whatever it is. Whatever it is, this, this was done uh, intentionally. So someone intentionally deceived you. We'll leave it at that. And songs keep popping in my head. Like, I keep waking up to music and stuff. Some of them I don't remember because I was singing these songs. I'm like, I haven't heard these songs in forever. And I don't know where the hell they're coming from. Can't remember them now, so it must not be important for the reading. But the one song that is standing out right now is um, Nightmare. When your nightmare comes to life, wake up and sweat. You should have known. I don't know the fucking lyrics. I know the song one is playing, but <laughs> what is that? Because you should have known. You should have known. You should have known that someone was full of shit. Something to do with the zodiac? You should have known. What the hell is this? All right, Nightmare. Nightmare song. <laughs> I think it is Event Sevenfold. Yeah, where is it? Oh, I've tasted blood and... Oh, no, that ain't it. <laughs> That's not the part I was trying to read. Oh, well, maybe somebody tasted blood. Are they going to get popped in the face? Or did they, you know, hurt themselves and whatever? But anyways... Is this it? Uh, no, I won't smile, but I'll show you my teeth. Um, wait, this isn't it, is it? I just think so. Oh my gosh. It feels significant. I want a different, whatever. I don't care. Look it up because the stupid thing's being dumb for me. So. That song popped up. You should have known. I guess that's the most significant part of it because Spirit would just let me know. Otherwise, sorry that I'm like rambling on. I don't know. I got stuck on that. And it felt confusing. So this person definitely through this deception, whatever it is, it was a confusing situation. They tried, They were trying to confuse you or it worked. I don't know. <coughs> I want to know what should you have known okay yeah real quick let's look into that authenticity wolf someone was not being authentic just saying because that wolf looks like he or she is gonna go after this person like i'm on the hunt the person this person isn't afraid like go ahead hunt me i don't care I got a spear. There's going to be a mutual understanding here. 
whatever that means. But let's see. What is this you should have known energy about? What should the collective have known about this deceptive person? Something to do with a rack. I don't know if it's like a rack of ribs or like a gun rack or a rack they hang stuff on. A rack. Uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Being like this is like impulsivity. Someone was very impulsive that they could have taken a risk to say something. Someone came in really quick, potentially to this Queen of Cups energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, not necessarily, it might not be your sun sign or whatever, but this, because it feels like this Queen of Cups energy, probably you, the viewer, or whoever, um, has put, like, the past behind you, you put the situation behind you, like you're not in this five of cups energy. You're not even looking at it, but if I feel like you are looking at it, but not for yourself. So if you had any, like if there's any pain tied to a situation for you, like tied to a person, whatever happened, um, you're not focused on, on what someone did to you, what they, like how they hurt you, whatever happened. But you see the pain. You saw this coming. Okay, I'm talking to someone very intuitive. You saw this coming. Because she's looking into the cup like, like a scrying mirror. Like, I knew this was going to happen. You saw this coming. You should have known. What the hell? You should have known. I want to know what this five of cups is like because whatever you saw coming is you saw this communication coming you saw this person headed your way you saw this sense of sadness what goes around comes around but some of you if you're highly intuitive you could have been picking up on somebody else's emotions and feelings as well like you know, like as you're looking into a situation or for yourself or whatever, just if your intuition's telling you something. Okay, now I got a wicked pit in my stomach. Like, cause I'm trying to explain this and I got a wicked pit in my stomach and I just heard the song, I'm your fucking nightmare again. Is this the Queen of Cups or somebody's fucking nightmare because you're intuitive? No. I'm your fucking nightmare. Well, what's your nightmare? Okay, let's see. <laughs> what the hell? What did the Queen of Cups see in the damn cup? <coughs> what the fuck was that? I just got... Both my knees got tingly. My wrist felt like I got grabbed. And right here, that would almost be like if you fall to the ground or if someone hits you or yanks you, drag something, pulls you in a different direction. I don't want to do that. Because it almost felt like my knees got skun up there for a second, but it just... It all happened at once, so that would be, like, consistent with a fall or running into something. But that didn't feel like a helping hand. That felt like, you know, like, get over here. You saw this coming. All right. What the hell did she see in the cup? Sorry, that might have been bag. That might have been bad. Bag. In the bag. You saw this coming. The bag. Like a backpack? Hmm. Something to do with the bag. Whatever that means to you. What 
What does the Queen of Cups see? Something significant to do with a bag. If it's not like a backpack or a purse or like a suitcase bag or whatever, you know what I mean? It could be like a baggie, a bag of something. Because that's what I keep looking at. These are my my runes. But even if it's not like a velvet bag, a plastic bag, whatever. Something was in a bag. A bag of something is very sick. A bag. You saw this coming. Grocery bag, even. I just heard, yep, yep, yep. Like ducky. <laughs> oh. Anyways, The Land Before Time. I do love that movie. It's very sweet. It's a sweet. It's actually a pretty sad movie if you think about it. Because isn't it about death and stuff? But, anyways. And the little girl that did the voice for Ducky. She was brutally murdered, like, I think it was by her damn father or stepdad or something, I can't remember. But I'm like, that was a long time ago, but that story's sad. The occult, belief system, theory, intangible. Okay, so you saw this coming through occult practices, which I mean, if you're doing scrying or, you know, really working with your intuition, then that would constitute as that, but has something to do with your belief system or somebody else's. Somebody's lying about what they believe in, which I don't know. Someone might not believe you. They could be into, I don't know, whatever their religion is, it's different, but they could be saying that they feel the same freaking way like they believe in whatever you believe in um ouch it's hurting my knee really bad I feel like I fell all over again when I fell I didn't like hurt both my knees and whatever I did hurt this elbow I still have a scar from it and my knee is scarred from that time I fell in the ditch but it just made my knee hurt again something to do with the belief system somebody didn't believe you they didn't believe in something so what did they not believe in? What is this occult belief system theory thing about? Just because you don't believe doesn't mean it isn't real, doesn't mean it isn't gonna happen. I don't know, that's what it feels like. It's like you don't have to believe, but trust me, it's headed your way. Like that's really what it feels like. I don't feel like it's headed the Queen of Cups way though. This is, this energy feels like, I saw this coming. I told you this was going to happen. Like, <laughs> that's what this feels like. Whether it's going to happen to you, the viewer, whoever this Queen of Cups is or not. Um, <clears throat> you saw it coming regardless. Like, you knew that this person was going to approach you. That the situation was going to unfold whatever way it's going to. You knew something was... Something deceptive, you knew a Decepticon had been dispatched to head your way. Yeah. <laughs> communication, communicating with spirit, spirit communication. Somebody didn't believe that you could talk to the dead. They didn't believe that you could, you're in, they didn't believe in you, period. Whatever your belief system is, but this person's very intuitive. Because we have the star here, too, and boom, bitch, there it is, you know? Um, you saw this coming, okay. You saw communication coming, too, from someone who is not exactly the healthiest. Is this just spirit communication, or is this a person as well? Is this is some type of... The system is a lie. The system is a lie. I've heard that before, and I don't really know what the system represents. I don't know if it's like a government system or a religious system... Just the system is a lie. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's about. The system is a lie. It's 
So what is the Eight of Wands here for? Is this spirit communication or is this someone coming in? Because we have the, the Knight of Swords here. And this person, it almost feels like someone's going to try to come, like sneak up on someone. Like, oh, I'm rushing in. This is a spur of the moment thing as well. Like, I didn't think things through, but I got something to say. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Whatever it is, it looks like you have no clue. Like, oh, I don't know what this person's up to. I didn't. I don't know that so-and-so is going to say something or do this or that or whatever. But you do know, intuitively. You. I'm your fucking nightmare. Because this is fear. This is worry. This is I can't fucking sleep at night. Someone's having issues sleeping. stressed about communication there's someone in this energy who is worried or stressed about spirit communication and I feel this for two reasons I feel there's someone around who might be stressed about intuition your intuition the things you know it's like how'd you know <laughs> kind of thing um that stuff there's why am I getting confused all of a sudden there's one person that believes that your intu your intuitive gifts, whatever they are, whoever this Queen of Cups is, um, is basically the devil. Like you're, I don't know, you're a devil worshiper or whatever. That's how this person views you, even though you're not evil, but they view you in, in such a way. Or there's one person in this energy that is at least viewing someone who's highly gifted that way. Um... It's almost like I got a save your soul type energy, but it's like, sorry, my soul don't need saving. Yours does. Get the hell out of here. But <coughs> there's someone who's worried about communication, forward movement, because of something, either because of a ritual, because of an occult thing, because of, um, because of a lie, because of a lie. Someone can't sleep. They're worried about information and forward movement because of a lie. Somebody lied about you or about a situation. That might, because we started off with a lie. And I did say that th this felt like two different things. It could be two different people, two different perspective as, perspectives as well, but... They're worried because of a lie. They don't want their lies to get out. They don't want you to know something. That's what it is. But I feel like you already know whatever this is. I don't know. It felt like the light flashed. But they don't want you to know. Something to do with Rhett. Isn't Rhett, like, isn't that a, uh, like, Rhett syndrome or something? Isn't that a disorder or something? didn't look. 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 Something to do with loss as well. I can't see out of my fucking eye again. Um, somebody has vision issues. Just in one eye though. But if I close this eye, this is... Um, the Eye of Horus, the moon energy, which is not only about protection, it's about health and well-being as, as well. Um, something to do with someone's health. Somebody lost somebody due to a health issue. There, there's a loss here. Someone's grieving over that. Like... I don't know if they lost a child or if they lost just a friend or family member, but it feels like it was due to an illness. And if you're spiritual, like you can talk to spirit and stuff, like you're a medium or whatever, um, this, is, this is a small part of this message, especially with the mediumship thing, but 
that person, whoever that person lost or those people lost, like whoever died, you could have spoken to them on the other side and they might not have believed you. They might have thought that you were just the devil. Like, that shit's not real. When you're dead, you're dead kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Something like that? For someone. Because it's making me think of that time that someone... I get reminded of things because it, go, it pertains to the energies and it, it, it helps explain some of the messages. Because someone had left me on that bench at the stupid garden a while ago. Um, they wrote quit on the board and left a Mormon Bible. And I ended up leaving a Bible somewhere else for somebody who, who really needs it and who would utilize it because it's not my faith. And I, you know, I don't, my soul don't need saving basically. But it's like that popping in my head is making me think about someone not believing in what you're doing and um, in, in your capabilities because they believe that it's it's not possible that that's just the work of the devil. That's what that feels like. And it could be a Capricorn even involved um, for some of you. Someone's scared. Someone's scared because of a lie. I wonder what this damn lie is. Let's see. <laughs> What's the lie about? Keep staring at the word car. You already know. What was that? Uh, Karn? Karn? It's making me think of carnivorous. Which is, you know, when you eat meat. Um, carnivorous. How the hell would... Eating meat have to do with, with a lie? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I don't know what that's about. But whatever it means to you. Um, corpse, remains, fossil, mummy. I had a dream about the damn mummy. Chainsaw, deranged, crazy, lunatic. The lie about someone being crazy... Someone could have lied about you to other people, um, saying that you were a phony baloney, that you were nuts. I don't know, there's some type of lie about a, a lunatic, like being afraid, scary messages. There's scary messages that are a lie, that are bullshit, and I feel like you you knew this. That's really what it feels like. Corp, like corporal, going, um, like job corp, corp, corpse, is that, what is it? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but, um, no, it's job corps, isn't it? I don't know, corp, be like corporal, a general, something. Someone was taking charge and scaring the fuck out of someone is what it feels like. It made someone run. Because this is that creepy energy that's making me, like in my head, I'm, I'm thinking, run. You know, like, run away. Run right now. I'm going to get you. Like, that's what this feels like. Something to do with Main Street as well. So I don't know if any of you live on a Main Street, if that's the name of a road that's significant to you. Um, yeah, somebody, it's like a scare tactic. But what's weird is, okay, this feels like a scare tactic, but it also feels like I want you to believe that it's a scare tactic, that this isn't going to happen, but it is. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is this? This is weird. So that's the lie. The lie. P.S. P.S. I love you. Somebody write somebody a letter. P.S. That is a good movie, isn't it? But anyways. Yes, don't forget. Don't forget. Why 
Why am I fanning myself now? All right, anyways, let's see. What's up with the Five of Cups? I'm getting dizzy, like, oh my God. Don't forget. Thank you. Thank you just popped in my head. Thank you, gracias. Don't forget. And hey, I don't, don't forget. Hey, like what's going on? Like, hey buddy, what's going on? Don't forget. And fire, but it could be a fire sign as well. Transformation, renewal, change, passion, anger, drive, and charge. Don't forget. Don't forget about something to do with the fire. I don't know, whatever that is. We need to talk. Please talk to me. That's on the other side. All right, so let's see. Somebody wants to talk to you. Don't forget. Something to do with the lore as well. Like, lores are like fictional tales. Um, or luring someone in, you know what I mean? I, I lured you there, lure you, no, it'd be lured. But lore, that's like, it's almost like, you know, something you think of is when you sit around a campfire, like, you know, if you're in the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or whatever, and you're with your buddies or whatever, as, as kids even, and you're telling scary stories, you know? Um, this doesn't, I don't know if it's like that happened to you guys. If you guys were sitting around a fire with, with someone significant in this energy and telling ghost stories. Or if that's the type of stuff that you talk about, um, like with a specific someone or just in general, you talk about the paranormal, uh, metaphysical, stuff like that. But this feels like there was a conversation that happened around a fire between you and other people, whether they were your friends or not. I just thought I had spots all over my face. What the fuck? Like, it looked like I had polka dots on my face. Um, like red spots. I don't know. Whatever that is. Maybe somebody has acne or hives or a skin disorder. But regardless, um, <coughs> sitting around a fire talking about magical stuff or, or metaphysical shit or just like telling ghost stories. That's what it feels like, just shooting the shit around the fire. But there was a significant conversation. Like, whatever this story was, this, whatever someone said is significant. It's significant. It's important. Okay, what's this? Crematory. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Farewell. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh, Hanson. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, someone's sad that you're not talking to them anymore. I feel like a lot of you are just saying goodbye to a sense of sadness. Like, you know, if anyone scared you, hurt you, harmed you, whether it was in a, a love relationship, shitty group of friends, whatever it was, um, you've put that behind you. But I feel like something to do with REM sleep as well. So there's like the dream space. You've had a dream about this. You, you had a dream about this person, the situation, whatever this is. But someone said goodbye to another person and they are probably headed your way. What's up with this? And you know it. Like you just had a feeling that so-and-so was going to reach out to you or you knew that there was going to be a problem in someone's life or that there was a problem headed your way. Like, oh, things aren't working out for you. Now you want to talk to me or uh, you're going to bring some F shit my way? Don't think so. Yeah, somebody broke up with someone this is the end to a relationship I don't know it's almost like I know I hurt you it seems you put the, the pain behind you 
I'm gonna come in with the two of cups. Like, that's what it looks like. Because if you look at the cards like this, you know, he's mourning the loss of something, looking at the problem, which whoever this person is to you that you say goodbye to or say goodbye to you could be mourning th that loss. Because whoever this Queen of Cups is is not thinking about this pain anymore. She put He or she put it behind her. And this person's rushing in like, oh, I got something to say. I want, I'm going to... I'm going to take these two damn cups. I'm going to take your two of cups. Someone wants to take someone's two of cups. <laughs> All that just for that. Just saying. Yeah. Tang. Isn't that that orange drink? Tang with the monkey. But anyway, so it could be somebody you've known for a while. There's some history here, because that makes me think of children and stuff. That should taste so gross. I don't know how the hell I drunk, like, drank it as a kid, but anyways, um, maybe some of you still like it, but tang, like history, 90s could be significant. I don't know if that's when someone was born, if you grew up in the 90s, if you knew this person since the 90s, like, you know what I mean? Um, whatever that means to you. But yeah, there's an end to a relationship here. What's a matador? What is a matador? I know what that is. Um, let's see. What's a matador? It's a bullfighter. Taurus could be significant. The color red could be significant as well. Because with a bullfight, like the bullfighters, isn't the red, doesn't the red irritate the bull? And that's why that rodeo clown dude, um, uses the red because it, it, it's a distraction. Yeah, the stupid clowns out there with the red cape to distract the bulls, to distract the problem, to distract someone. That's why Matador showed up. So someone could be trying to distract um, a Taurus or they're trying to distract someone from taking the bull by the horns, taking charge in the situation. What? Which one did you get off of? I don't know why. What do you need? You good? You were up again. Yeah, I stayed up late, Emma. I'm recording. I didn't know. I've been up for a while. You've been asleep. But anyways. Um... I don't know. So, yeah. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus. So, definitely Earth energy. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Gemini. Potentially Libra. Something significant to do with words. Someone's using your words against you. Or there's word play here. Because I, I did mention a lie. So, someone's playing off from what you say. They're... they're has something to do with thank you thank you sign language signs they're playing off from your words the signs that you see that you that you talk about that whatever whatever this is because this would be something that you would talk to other people about even if it's not publicly because of course this person would catch wind of it in some way you know what I mean so if you're not like a public reader or you don't share things like that publicly or online, because sometimes it'd be as simple as going on Facebook and being like, oh, I saw a feather today. Or like, do you know what I mean? Something to do with words and signs. And it's, well, and night, nighttime. But um, words and signs and lies, like using what you say against you. Or to get what they want. To make you think you're connected. Like something like that. Whatever this is, you you knew long, like way ahead of time that this was going to happen. That this person was going to say this, do this, try this. Or that this situation was coming around. Because it feels... I'm really worried I can't sleep because of communication, because of messages. Someone did something they shouldn't have done. Um, 
um, the name Ryan could be significant as well for some of you, not necessarily. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that just could be a sign for some of you. Um, I just heard throw them off, throw them off. Like throw them off course right now. Somebody wants to throw somebody off course. Like, I don't want you to, I don't want you to know this, understand this, whatever, throw them off. Oh, vampire, bloodthirsty, draining, parasite. So there's an energy vampire here, that's for sure. And that's probably who's who's coming in to say something to you. Ass, just saying. <sighs> Whoever this is, is very draining. Um, they're exhausting to be around or they're trying to drain your energy. Like, um, waste your time, take up your time. Or that's what they'll plan on doing. And it could be through words, through talking. You know, like, oh, we're just going to talk or text or whatever, you know, face to face it, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, why am I doing that? I'm spinning, but this, okay. I'm drawing a circle, something to do with the full moon. Well, because there's I of Horus, but I'm drawing a circle. This is going backwards, though, because this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. Could have something to do with time, wasting your time, or a specific time on a clock, like 111, 11, 11, 222, whatever it is. It's different for everyone. 888 popped up, too. I don't know, and 222 is very significant. I think I already said that, but anyways. Um, something to do with someone's hip as well. It doesn't feel like they broke it. It just feels like they might get a uh, hip pain, leg pain or something. Throw somebody off course. But where was I going with that? I was drawing a circle. It has to do with shapes. But there's a circle on on here, you know, to push play and stop and whatever. Circle. Why am I drawing a circle? Could be like a ring of salt as well, because that just popped in my head. It's like a circle of protection. Capricorn could be significant. Hell of light, sorry. Um, I did mention that already. Circles can also be rings, like um, wedding bands and shit like that. But I felt like I was drawing it. I didn't feel like I was wearing something or whatever. So it's either written down, a painting, or you put it, I don't know, carved it into something. You drew it. But I'm doing it upright like this. So it feels like it's on a wall or something. Like it's not... I don't know, because I feel, why would I, like I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm going to teach her a lesson. I'm going to teach her. Someone's going to teach someone something. A cycle. This is making me think of when you draw on a dry erase board or a chalkboard. So that could be significant to some of you for some reason. Um, I know at like restaurants and stuff, a lot of times they have the like chalkboards where they write the specials and shit like that. Um, so that could mean something to some of you. It's like you, I feel like you broke a karmic cycle. You broke a pattern. Don't repeat, don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. Don't allow someone to drag you back, like to, to take you backwards. One, one, one. New opportunities are on the way. The start, of, the start of something or a new beginning and confidence within yourself. Have confidence within yourself. There is a new beginning um, coming in. So there's a problem here as well. So it's not like, I don't know, just don't be an idiot is what the, I want to say to someone. Just don't be stupid because you already know the answer. The, you, are, you already know the answers 
to the like the yeah to the questions that you seek or no you already know the answers that you seek whatever I can't talk for some fucking reason <sighs> you're gonna be someone's downfall that could be digging for dirt. Something to do with falling, though. Someone might fall down. Now it's making me want to sing Ring Around Rosie. Oh, there's an end to a relationship. Whoever this is, it's either an ex of yours that has something to say. I just heard I hate you. <laughs> That's not nice. Someone does not like you. Or, because I don't feel like it's you saying that. I mean, it could be. It just depends. I hate you. Because of. Someone might really hate you because of the, how how things ended between the two of you. Especially if it's like a relationship thing, but I don't know. There's someone that just doesn't like you, and they're coming in to talk to you, and they might be ta they might talk to you in a friendly way, and this person they don't like you. <laughs> they're not your friends, whoever they are. This person might not like you because of your intuition, because I just saw the word profit. Um, they could be trying to profit off from you or they're doing something to, to gain to gain something money to gain clout to gain whatever um, profit especially if they're not in a good financial place they might be trying to profit off from you but there, it's also like prophecy because that's what I was thinking what the hell does something spin Well, you did. I did say you saw this coming. That would be a prophecy. Just saying. That's what it feels like. You already knew. Oh, the moon. Yeah, this person does not like the fact that you're a prophet. Uh, they might not believe that you are. Or they act like... I don't know. It's either they, they pretend like they believe you, but they really don't. Or they really do believe you and they're pretending not to. Whatever it is because we did have that crazy energy and it's like trying to make you look not credible. Someone wants you to not be credible. Like you're not a credible source. So they're, they're going to do something or say something to slander you basically, whether they've already done it or they're going to do it. Like, I don't know. They want to make, make it look like you're not a credible source. That whatever information you have, whatever secrets you know, is bullshit. But it's not. This really could be an ex of yours. Whoever this person is is not fucking credible, I'm just saying. Um, or it has to do with an end, an end to a relationship. Somebody, for some of you... This person who's coming in to talk to you or whatever, or t returning, whoever they are, they might lie and tell you that they their relationship ended, that they're no longer with so-and-so, blah, blah, whatever. But that, in fact, is a lie. Maury said that's a lie. <laughs> Just saying. Maury's like, that, in fact, is a fucking lie. Sorry. You are, you are the father. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... So someone could be coming back lying, trying to, I don't know, what, I don't know why the fuck they would do this. I really don't. They don't want you to look credible, but whoever this person is, they're not credible. Like, they lie. <laughs> they fucking lie. And they probably talk shit about you, too. No, no. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, what's up with this wolf energy, please? I know this one's really long. I'm sorry. Offer. They might come in and make you an offer. An offer that you cannot refuse. 
I'm pretty sure you can refuse it, and you probably will, especially if someone's up to this fuckery, but I don't know, because now I'm looking at this person that is standing their ground, you know, because at first I said, oh, I'm not afraid of you, and I don't feel like you're afraid of this person. Maybe some of you should be, but um, it just depends on your situation, because I feel like there could be varying degrees with whatever the hell this is, but this person's like, I put my foot down, I'm standing tall, you don't fucking scare me. This is a big fuck you, is what it feels like. Because she's like, you're either with me or you're against me. Come at me. Like, that's what that looks like to me. Even though I can't see her face, because the wolf is looking like... Because he could charge, you know, and just eat her. But he's not going to. Because she's reading his fucking mind. She's reading his energy, he or she. Because you knew this was coming. That's why the wolf isn't going to bite you. The big bad wolf. Which in Little Red Riding Hood was about rapists and crap. And whatever. You know bad men that wanted to take advantage of girls and women and shit. This wolf isn't going to eat you. Because you. You already know what's coming. Like. You would. You feel you feel them approaching, so like this this wolf can't sneak up on you. Basically, is what it feels like. They will have to face you, and this person might come in and actually face you. But for some reason, I feel like I'd rather work together with you versus against you. For I don't know what that is exactly, but it's like reaching a, mu a mutual under reaching a mutual understanding. I already said that. Oh, there's a tower moment. I feel like there could be a truck in this situation as well. But a lot of people have trucks. You're going to destroy this offer. That's what it feels like. Because for some reason, I'm feeling that trickery that tricky energy where you know the wolf is talking to her like well I have a proposal for you if we do blah 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 whatever if we work together and blah whatever um whatever it is then you'll get this this and this or I don't know someone's gonna make a proposal an offer if they haven't already made this offer to you, whether it's in love or business, French, I don't know what the hell it is. Whatever this offer is, it would be a big deal to you, or to them at least. It would be significant. It's a significant offer. You're going to obliterate it. And it might shock the fuck out of this person. Someone's going to blow something out of the water. Something to do with off, like on, off, turning something off. It doesn't feel like someone's turned off. It could be a light turning off. Um, I'm just getting really tired all of a sudden. I'm like, turn off the lights. I'm tired. But I was also seeing emergency room. So there's something significant with that, and it could have to do with lights as well. Um... There's nothing, there's nothing here. Whatever this is, I don't know, this person has nothing to offer. They really, they don't. Because I, I feel like I want to be like, I can give you the world. But they have nothing to offer. Nothing. Nothing but stress. <laughs> Something feels like. But, um, I don't know, that's pretty much what this is. So, I'll get it uploaded and... We'll go from there, pretty much. I don't know. I just, for some reason, I can't stop looking at that damn wolf. Blood countess. Beautiful, preserved, and youthful. It's not me that can't keep, like, can't, okay. Because I'm like, I can't stop looking at the wolf. It's the wolf that can't stop looking at you. Because you're beautiful, you're whatever. But you know what this person's capable of. You know what they want. Probably because of the past. Because whatever they did. 
this person it might be a little obsessed with you or they might become out oh, they might become that way I feel like I just got stabbed in the boob like right in the side um, this person might live in a city or a city is significant Here I go on my own again. The only road I've ever known. Here I go again, that song. Um, this person might be traveling or they're... That's about somebody who just travels alone, <laughs> basically. It's like, oh, well, here we go again. This is... Something didn't work out for this person. Because they might fuck shit up all the time, but... There's also something significant to do with like a perfume or cologne. So it could have to do with like the way this person smells. Um, like maybe you really love their cologne, you really love their perfume or just their natural scent, whatever. There's, this wolf has picked up on your scent. This wolf has your fucking scent. Like, the, I don't know. <laughs> like, um, they can smell you. Hopefully not literally because that's gross. You know, take a fucking shower if that's the case. But... That's not what I mean. They can smell you. It's like energetically. They can sense you. But you can sense the wolf. I feel like I'm trying to find someone now. Because when you pick up, like you have a dog or whatever, search dogs, and you, um, I don't know, you give them an article of clothing and be like, there you go, go boy, go get whatever, go searching. Like, is somebody sending somebody out to search for you, to look for you? Search for you online, look for you out and about in public, wherever you are. This this wolf is picking up, picked up on your scent. So they know where you go, they know where you are. This wolf knows where you are. But you know when the damn wolf is showing up. Like, that's what that feels like. There's someone who's very obsessive. That's what that feels like to me. And it's someone that you potentially broke up with or it's just a broken contract of some kind because uh, something didn't work out before. This person's fucking unstable and they might have a mental disorder, whoever they are. They're going to offer you nothing but nothingness. But anyways, I love you guys. Peace.